We live in a world that thrives on energy, but what will it take to fuel our future? We move faster, further, every day, consuming most of the world's resources millions of times more quickly than they're formed. 85% of the energy we use in this country comes from oil, coal, and gas, aka fossil fuels. But our dependence on these fuels brings with it serious challenges to our nation and the world. Over the years, we've built an incredibly convenient energy system. You turn on the lights, you turn on your computer, you drive up to the gas pump or the, you know, the gas furnace in your home goes on automatically. You really don't think about energy. Today's standard of living is unprecedented in human history, but it comes at a cost. We need to inform the public they can use energy more efficiently, because right now, supply and consumption are out of balance. We're pretty much the energy hog when it comes to oil. The U.S. uses about 25% of the oil that's produced in the world, and uh, that's a whole lot more than anybody else. So we've got to ask ourselves a few tough questions. Can we continue to feed the world's energy demands, and can we do it in a way that's affordable, sustainable, and environmentally responsible? What you can do are a couple of things. One is to diversify the sources of imports that you have, and two, uh, you want to reduce the amount of oil, if oil is the particular problem, that you use in the whole economy. The fact is, energy is progress. It's the strength of industry, it's the speed of transportation, it's the comforts and conveniences in your home and mine. We need to change behaviors. We need to let the American public know that there are alternative sources that are much more energy efficient and that are much more environmentally friendly. We need to look at renewable technologies, wind technologies, tremendous improvements in the turbines for wind technologies. We need to look at solar technologies. We need to look at distributive generation technologies. Nuclear power does not emit greenhouse gases. I believe that technologies hold the key to transforming our society. To meet that challenge, we have to actively pursue improved energy efficiencies and invest in technological advances. One of the pieces of jargon that's worked its way into the energy business is there's no silver bullet, there's silver buckshot. And, and it's a pretty good description because there are a lot of individual things that have to happen in order to get where we, where we want to be. Our energy future is likely to include a mix of power sources and technologies, and our search for new and innovative solutions will be critical. But no matter how our energy portfolio changes, we know that we're going to need to invest in low emission, renewable technologies. And it will be a mix of good science, good public policy, and good personal choices that give us the energy makeover that this world needs. It's the old line about the longest journey begins with a single step, and that's just what we have to do. And it's one of the reasons that dealing with this problem is going to take a little time. Responsible stewardship of our planet demands that we find new ways to meet our energy needs while minimizing or eliminating fuels that damage the environment, affect public health, and endanger our national security. That goal appears attainable, and considerable progress is already evident. Whatever happens, whatever direction we take, we need to focus on energy security, sustainability, and environmental responsibility. The future holds great promise, and if history is any guide, the ingenuity of our species means we have reason to be optimistic. <laughs>